Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Protection's team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress WP CLI tutorials for beginners. This is our part number 13. Inside this video session guys, we will see about how can we deactivate and delete plugin via CLI command. In the last video, we had seen by following two ways we have installed successfully plugin to our application. So back to editor, soy terminal. Let's say that WP admin first of all, let's open about administrator panel and inside this administrator panel, so first of all, let's enter username and password to log into the website and uh, after login, here is the admin panel. So if I back to plugin section and inside this plugins, so far in the last video, we had installed about contact form 7 as well as this library management system. Now let's say that this time we are going to deactivate plugin. So we can either click on this button like deactivate and deactivate our plugin but this time we are not going to do any manual. Instead what we will do we will run a command means a CLI command by the help of that CLI command we are going to deactivate this plugin. So back to terminal let's say that WP here we have a help command so wp help let's say plugin and simply type deactivate or let's say that if you have don't any idea about any command simply press enter now inside this wp plugin we have a deactivate sub command it will deactivate one or more plugin so if i copy this command cancel out from this panel and let's say that wp help plugin here is the command pressing enter and inside this synopsis we can see that WP plugin deactivate and here we need to provide our plugin name so if I scroll down to see some examples and here is the example provided called WP plugin deactivate and this is the plugin name so if I get rid of this panel and let's say that WP plugin list pressing enter now inside this right now we have plugin called something as we can see inside this name section again back to admin panel so let's say that contact form 7 is currently activated now we want that this plugin should inactive means we want to make deactivate so how can we do simply let's say WP plugin deactivate and next we need to provide the plugin name if I back to this tabular format so here is the name we have so copy that name go here pasting it here now if I press enter now plugin contact form 7 as we can see this is deactivated back to add in panel reload this plugins list now as we can see that contact form 7 now has been successfully deactivated Again, if I do with this library management system, simply copy this name and clear this terminal first, WP plugin deactivate and after this type the name of the plugin, pressing enter, successfully library management system deactivated, reload this page and here is the deactivated plugins. Again, if I type WP plugin list, pressing enter, now inside this tabular format, as we can check the status equal to inactive, inactive and inactive of rest three plugins. Now let's say that in some cases we want to delete some plugins from our admin panel which is in inactive state. So right now from this observation we can see that three of these plugins have are in inactive state so we want to delete that. So either we can delete the plugin either click on this delete button of this respective plugin or we can do via this WP CLI command. So if I type WP help, let's say plugin. Now inside this sub commands list, here we have a command called delete. Deletes plugin file without deactivating or uninstalling. So if I go outside of this panel and simply type WP help plugin and let's say delete 
pressing enter and here inside this synopsis as we can see that WP plugin delete and here we need to provide the plugin name. If I scroll down to see some examples and here is the few examples like if we want to delete hello plugin simply we need to write WP plugin delete and here is the plugin name. Now let's say that in some cases we have an admin panel and inside, inside that admin panel we have 50 plugins and after taking consideration of 15 plugins let's say that 20 plugins are in inactive state. So either we can pass something we have to run this command something wp plugin delete 20 times for 20 plugins but we don't want to run 20 times command so simply what I will do WP plugin delete and here we need to get the plugins R which is in inactive state. So this will give about all inactive plugins and delete by using a single CLI command. So let's see all these things in action. So if I cancel out from this panel and simply let's say WP plugin list pressing enter. So right now we have four plugins and apart from these four plugins we have three plugins in inactive state. So let's say that first we want to delete this contact form 7. So simply let's say WP plugin delete and next we need to provide the plugin name. So if I copy pasting it here and if I press enter button so here we have some mistake inside this writing as a keyword. So plugin pressing enter so contact form 7 has been successfully deleted. If we go to admin panel, reload this page and as we can see that inside this installed plugin list, contact form 7 has been deleted. Now let's say that we have 50 plugins inside this list. 20 plugins are in inactive state. So while thinking about that scenario, we are going to delete these two plugins from the list by using a single WPCLI command. Back to terminal, let's say that WP delete plugin dollar and inside this we are going to get means we want to get all the plugins which is in inactive state. So simply if I run the command called WP plugin list and let's say that a status equal to inactive. So adding a status flag, so let's say a status equal to let's say inactive. Now if I press enter this is giving a table format so we want all about this name only. So what I will do we need to add a field flag and let's say that we want only the name. So if I press enter now while running this command we have taken only the name of the inactive plugins. Now let's say that by using a single WPCLI command we want to delete these plugins. So what I will do, we need to write WP plugin delete and inside this we have to get let's say plugin list which is in inactive state. So let's say inactive and also we want field equal to name. Now if I press enter, as we can see that hello plugin deleted, library management system plugin deleted. So deleted two of two plugins. So again if I type WP plugins list, pressing enter, now we have only a plugin, single plugin that is in active state. If we back to admin panel, reload this page, now all the inactive plugins successfully we have deleted from this list. So successfully guys inside this video we understood about deactivate as well as delete WP CLI command. So inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.